A deleted scene of Barry Keegan's Joker has just been revealed by director Matt Reeves after fans solved multiple riddles on the Rattalada website and we get horrifying footage of the actor in full prosthetics. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the best time, the most merriest, wonderful time of the year, the Academy Awards. I have spent the last week um, suffering through every single feature film nominated for um, a made-up award for a ceremony that no one cares about. Do I recommend this? No. Is it medically advisable to watch upwards of 10 movies in a week for something that you don't care about and is for the most part just a joke? Probably not, but we're, we're here today. Um, just right off the bat, I'm gonna say there are a lot of bad movies this year. Um, they're bad every year, but this year, it, I mean, it wasn't painful to get through, but it was just, like, disappointing. Which I guess leads me to my first point before we go in, talk about some of the nominees, who's gonna win what. Um, I think we should talk about the snubs or the things that are notably missing this year. Because I watched a lot of 2021 films, uh, starting at Sundance in last January, going all the way through, obviously, this week I spammed a bunch, but I think that even for the Oscars, there are a lot of notable snubs, and I just want to, before we start with the actual stuff, want to go through some of them. Uh, so right up, we got Come On, Come On. I mean, I, I don't know if there's some sort of technicality or exception why this was not uh, on there, or if it just was not nominated for anything, which kind of seemed... I've, I saw some people calling it Oscar Beatty, but like, I don't think it was A, and B, if it was, I don't think it really panned out very well, but um, very surprised to see that not up for anything, as well as French Dispatch, you know, some production design, maybe just some something. <laughs> Titan, obviously, um, I think, I mean, it was disappointing not to see it, but I don't think very many people were surprised that the coolest movie of the year was not nominated by the lamest ceremony in existence, so. Okay, I think this is actually the biggest snub for me this year, was All Light Everywhere for documentary. I mean, it's, it's just like, no reason why it wasn't nominated. I mean, it was just one of the, I mean, obviously you can see here, it's in my, almost in my top five. Um, I don't see how um, anyone could say it's not one of the best documentaries of the year, much less not the best, uh, one of the best films of the year. So I think that was probably the most disappointing thing, just because usually with documentary it's like there's only so many big things, and, um, when we actually talk about the category, um, there's some, some things which All Light Everywhere very much should have taken the place of, so, I don't know. Uh, Judas and the Black Messiah uh, was notably absent from this year uh, because it competed last year despite being released at Sundance 2021 uh, which at first I was like you know that's just a technicality they're just trying to they're changing it up because pandemic stuff whatever but then um, I think it was YMS who pointed it out and now that he mentioned it I completely agree that it's weird that CODA is up for a bunch of awards this year, and that came out at the very same festival last year. So it's like, what? what's the, why? Like that doesn't, it doesn't make sense that Judas was up last year and something that premiered at the exact same festival is up for this year. Like, I mean, at least that would be one good movie that could be up against the 2021 films, but no. Uh, and the same thing goes for The Green Knight. Um, I don't think many people were expecting much, but maybe some visual effects, cinematography even. Red Rocket uh, probably deserved something. I mean, I guess that's, uh, this literally the theme for this year is just these movies are too cool to be noticed. Uh, same with The Velvet Underground. Again, not really a surprise. It's kind of a, I guess, niche music thing, maybe. Um, Procession, I thought maybe documentary, uh, but other than that, yeah, I just want to go straight into the nominations because, as you can see, out of that top 25, there are only a couple of things that were actually nominated, which again, it's like, I don't think anyone's going into the Oscars being like, oh, this is the this is the big award show, I can't wait to see all of my favorite movies from the year. It's just like, it, it's just something you watch to, to just 
to just get it over with and to maybe maybe have a couple of laughs um if you saw the uh, squid game tweet um i think we might be having a few so that's all i have to say with some of the snubs um if you've made it this far into the video then i would like to make a special announcement which is that the oscars are 7 p.m on sunday um central time uh and I will be streaming my live reaction to them. You can just sort of react to it together if there's another funny win or two. Uh, I think it it could be uh, a couple of funny moments in that four hour stream, so make sure you show up if you have cable and a few hours to spare, because that means I have to set up YouTube TV free trial again. Hopefully that will work. It'll be streamed on YouTube. I uh, hope you guys are there. Okay, this is just the New York Times Oscar ballot. Um, I th okay, this is like an actual voting thing. Um, okay, I guess we'll just start with director. Um, so obviously, with these things, you kind of have to do um, multiple rounds. Um, the first one being, out of these, what should win? And then, out of those, what probably will win? Because those are oftentimes very different things. Uh, Usually you pick one and then pick the opposite of that and that will be who would win. So it's um, an interesting thing for director this year in that really any of these could win and I would not be surprised. Um, I think out of these my least favorite would be Belfast Man. Uh, I feel like Belfast is a solid Academy pick. It's a, it's a movie, it has a kid. Um, I don't really remember <laughs> anything else about it. Okay, Drive My Car, um, a lot of people really liked. I didn't really connect with it that much. I, uh, rated it highly, but m mostly on, a appreciation for the technical aspects. I thought it was a really well-made film, but just really, uh, did not do much for me, and I think that they've given it a bunch of Oscars, but I don't think it's going to win anything but Best International Film. So I think most likely it's going to be one of these three. Uh, as great as the PTA win would be, I highly doubt um, Licorice Pizza is going to win anything this year. Or any year. I think, I, I will say, I think Licorice Pizza does have a better chance this year than it will next year. Or last year, even. So take that with what you will. That's not, that's not a sentence. Uh, Power of the Dog, I think, could potentially sweep this year. I would not be surprised or even disappointed in that. I would not be upset by that at all. That is a very solid film, uh, much better than, um, I wanted to say Nashville, Nomadland. So I would not be surprised if Jane Campion won this. I think she actually has a pretty good shot. Um, that being said, there is a, another competition for what I think might actually sweep this year, and that is Mr. Mr. Spielberg. He is back, and he made a mediocre film, and I would not be surprised if that just sort of took everything. But since I have to vote for one, I think I'm going with Power of the Dog. Oh, oh, it shows you like there was, okay, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so this is actually a pass-fail thing, so we'll see how we go as we go. That was a, that was a sentence. Okay, actor in a leading role. Um, this guy was bad because the movie was quite bad, but he was also bad in the bad movie, so. Uh, Mr. Benedict, uh, has a solid shot, I think. Um, he was good in the movie, the movie was good. I have nothing else to say about it. Uh, Andrew Garfield, um, as popular as he is, I don't think Tick Tick Boom will do much. I hope it doesn't. That movie was mediocre, and I mean, hot take, I don't really like him that much, and I don't think he has a shot at all in this category, which might prove to be completely wrong, but uh, I'm just going with my instinct that somebody else has has a really good shot i think this is the academy pick i think 100 percent um he has a very very solid chance at getting this and is it deserved no because uh tragedy of macbeth deserved more awards and denzel definitely deserves this uh nomination and potentially win out of these, he's absolutely the best, but I'm going with Will Smith because I think 
that would be what they pick. Benedict has a higher chance than I thought, but you know, these guys don't know what they're talking about. That's why you watch me. Okay, actress, uh, this would be funny. Um, this would be unsurprising. This is just no way. This would also be funny. Therefore, we have a winner. <laughs> I mean, I really can't uh, imagine the reality where she doesn't win, she deserves to win, and that movie was one of the biggest snubs in several other categories. Um, Johnny Greenwood's score, even though he's nominated for a different film, but that score for this was very good. Cinematography was also a big snub for this one. Um, I'm surprised that it didn't get more. Um, and I'm just looking, and apparently it not only did this tie with Tammy Faye movie, it also got beaten by Olivia Coleman, which is, you know, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. I'm just going to keep repeating that because most of these are interchangeable. This was a very safe nomination year. It was it's kind of standard, very boring, hence why I'm kind of low energy in this video. Also, I watched three movies today, and I only liked one of them. <laughs> Okay, actor and supporting role. I don't even remember half of these, so that means it's probably going to funny Breaking Bad guy. He, because he's, because he's a, he's a, he's from, he's, he's in movies sometimes now. So let's see. 16% was going to the other guy. What? Going to the other guy? It's the other guy from the movie. This is so crazy. Okay, actress and supporting role. I don't think she's going to win. I don't remember her, she was fine, I don't remember you either, so I'm gonna go with Jesse Buckley because I thought that movie was pretty good and that she did a good job playing a younger Olivia Coleman. I thought that was a good acting choice, or casting choice even, you could say, if you could speak English, the English language. But yeah, she was pretty good and I like her as an actor, so... See if- oh, I'm completely wrong, aren't I? Oh, okay, really quick. Uh, screenplay. Uh, don't look up. <laughs> we finally did it, boys. Uh, don't look up. Uh, that could be a sw I mean, it's not going to, but, uh, this is probably Licorice Pizza's best shot, but it's going to Belfast, and I don't even have to think about it. It's going to Belfast, even though, also, sort of a surprising nomination for Worst Person in the World. Uh... I don't know why uh, this is up for this, uh, but it is absolutely one of the best films I saw this year. Uh, as you could probably tell from the rank thing, it was in my top five. Um, really just a absolutely great film, deserves every nomination. Uh, I was, I'm really surprised this is up for screenplay. Um, I, I mean, it is deserved, obviously, in my opinion, but it's, it's weird considering what it's up against that it is kind of there. Um, so I'm still locking in a Belfast, though. It's just such a safe pick. I feel like picking anything else would be uh, kind of a waste. Although I will say, if Don't Look Up wins, it would be very, very funny. Um, and if Licorice Pizza wins, I will I will be a be a real a real happy boy. Um, worst person in the world. If that wins, I'll be. Uh, I mean, it's not going to happen, so I wouldn't be anything. Adapted screenplay. I just really don't don't care. <laughs> um, probably. I mean, Drive My Car. I really don't think is going to win. Probably. I don't know. None of these deserve it. I'm going to go with Coda. Actually, I think that's another like just generic coming-of-age movie that, you know, it has lots of dialogue, um, it had lots of, of emotion and drama in a drama film, and I think that's why it will win the award. So I really, Dune, absolutely not. Lost Daughter, <sighs> mate, ah, I feel like with Lost Daughter, though, it's like, because it's an older, sad lady, um, who's unable to kind of relate to the attractive youth. So, you know, I think an Academy member might be able to relate to that. But uh, I, I think Coda is the best pick here. Power of the Dog? I, ah, I don't know. Okay, international feature. Um, I watched the Yak thing earlier today, and I just watched this right before I started recording. 
Uh, this was sort of a surprisingly good, very good movie. Um, I hadn't really heard anything about it before. Um, it's not better than Drive My Car, and it's not better than, certainly not better than Worst Person in the World, which again, kind of caught me off guard how good that was. But um, yeah, there's no way it's not going to Drive My Car, because it's also nominated for Director and Screenwriter. So therefore, it has the best direction and screenplay out of the other ones, because the other ones aren't nominated for those awards. So I don't see like, I mean, it's, it's kind of like kind of a spoiler at that point. So yeah, drive my car. Like there's, it's yeah, there's no point in even clicking. Animated feature is just like, it's just sad at this point. I mean, there's just no like even effort to hide how how much of a uh, scam this whole thing is with three Disney nominations. Like. Uh, before, I mean, at least before, it's like, okay, there's there's four other nominations, you know that it, it's gonna go to the Disney one, but at least you can kind of pretend that, you know, the other ones are, the other ones are there, but it's gonna go to the Pixar Disney meme. But uh, now it's just like, which Disney one is it's gonna go to? I mean, it might as well just be changed to Disney feature, because Flea is on there, and it's being, it's competing against Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, which Flea, I didn't even like that much, but, uh, just the fact that something like that, or like, um, Anomalisa, by technicality, would compete against Shaun the Sheep, <laughs> you know? Which, I'm not, I'm not talking, talking anything bad about Shaun the Sheep, but like, it's just kind of a weird category that I don't think people really know what to do with, so. Um, it's going to this thing, Mitchell's vs. the Machines, it's the best thing I've ever seen in my life, I'm just glad that it's on here. Cryptozoo, huge snub hand-drawn animation you never see that and it was so good so unique i talked about it in my sundance video last year uh, good movie which is out on digital it's been out for a while go go watch it go watch it right now okay sound uh probably dune just because that's like usually it's like the loud action movies kind of win the the technical awards right so i think it's either dune or no time to die um probably dune I think that's just gen whichever one's the loudest, and I think Dune was the loudest, so I'm gonna click Dune. West Side Story? Ah, oh, because it has see because it has music. See, I I get it now. Ah, oh, I, I see I I can I I missed that. I missed that. That's why I need the internet to explain to me, because I forgot that um, West Side Story was actually a musical. I don't know. I think West Side Story sweep might be the the timeline that we get. And that would just be such such a boring, <laughs> such a boring reality. Okay, visual effects. Um, free guy. <laughs> and here's another thing: you got just more Disney. It's like, why why is this a thing? Why are well, there should not be two Marvel movies? I mean, obviously it's going to Dune, right? Or are they going to toss it to the Marvel people? I mean, neither of these deserved it at all. And this doesn't even deserve it. This had some cheesy stuff. I don't know if you guys saw the same movie as I did, but that was like kind of, kind of not good at some parts. That's why I have to vote for Free Guy, and I clicked it. Okay, editing. I don't care. They. I mean, it's just like it's literally just mixed and matched at this point. It's like the same ten movies are just spread out throughout all these awards, and it's just like any of these could win. It's just guessing. They don't care. They don't know. Don't look up. Let's just click that. Okay, <laughs> it's probably gonna go to Dune, because that's like, oh, oh, it was a big technical movie, or, or probably it'll go to Tick Tick Boom, because, like, Tick Tick is kind of like, you know, cutting, it's like rhythmic. Um, I didn't watch the short films this year because they didn't play at the theater, and some of them weren't even out. Um, I did watch The Long Goodbye, and that will probably win. Yeah. Original score, um... I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember, I didn't know Don't Look Up had a score. I don't even remember that move. Johnny Greenwood is nominated for Power of the Dog, but he should be nominated for Spencer. Dan Deacon should be nominated for like five different movies last year, I believe. Um, but it'll probably go to Dune, because that's the funny man that did the funny music. Encanto? I don't know what counts as score versus song, if the songs count as the score, um, but I think Dune probably. Or Encanto. I did, did the, like songs of the musical count as the score because it doesn't, right? 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Dune. I'm sticking with Dune. Original song, No Time to Die. Oh, uh, it was good. Oh, wait, no. It's gonna... Is it, what even is that song from Encanto? That's not, like, the popular one. That's not, like, any of the good ones, is it? Why is that nominated? Why is this nominated for anything? Production design. It needs to go to Macbeth. That's the only thing that actually deserves it. Uh, everything else is a joke. Um, it's not gonna, which means that it's definitely not going to be that one. Whenever there's a clear answer, it's not going to be that one. So I'm just gonna click it and see how wrong I am. Yeah, Dune. Oh, because it's sci-fi. Oh, I get it. Because, because it had money. Because a bunch of people poured money into a thing and now it's expensive and money equal quality. Nightmare Alley, it would be fine. I don't care. I don't care about any of this anymore. Nothing matters. This video is a joke. This is satire. This is parody. Cinematography should be Macbeth again. I mean, also, it's just a guessing game. Literally for this one and production design and like half of these. It's just a guessing game. Uh, I'm just gonna click Macbeth again because it's stupid. It's probably gonna go to West Side Story. I have, I'm, the more I'm doing this, the more I'm just like, yeah, it's just gonna be Spielberg clean sweep. It's just gonna be King Richard and don't look up, you know? Like, it's, I'm done. I'm done. I don't know. I'm also starting to think that maybe Dune has a good chance at a lot of these, which that would just also be incredibly boring. I mean, that would almost be worse than the West Side Story, because at least that would be funny, but with Dune, it'd be like, oh, oh, that's so cool, because Dune is a good movie, said said the losers, because Dune was not a good movie. That's right, I like the David Lynch version. L, L plus, plus ratio, plus maiden, ma no maidens? No maidens? Okay, costume design uh, could go to Serrano because that was not in regular costumes. They were in a different time and place, so costumes. But it's going to Cruella because the movie is about the dresses. Um, or West Side Story. <laughs> it would be, I mean, it could just be funny to start just like locking in West Side Story just for everything. Honestly, that's what I might end up doing on Sunday. I'm so over this, man. Okay, makeup, we got Coming to America. Um, Eyes of Tammy Faye would be kind of a meme, but House of Gucci is the only thing. Imagine making a movie that's solely existence is Oscar bait, and then it gets one nomination for makeup. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there would be some like actual assassinations, like mafia style going down if this doesn't win the one nomination. So I gotta go with that one. Documentary feature, um, Ascension is just nominated because oh China China's doing wacky stuff guys dude do you think do you think China bad dude how bold of how brave of me to say this I mean I'm just I mean what else do you expect it's the Oscars you know they're 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 just about as like state controlled as you can get I guess I don't know with like writing with fire and the um yak in the classroom it was just like they only watched four movies and then they had just had to like Google documentaries and then they had to pick one at random just to figure out what to fill it just felt like they were like trying to fill the fifth spot because it's just like why is this nominated it's fine like i don't have a problem with it there are worse things nominated it's just like why is this here summer of soul was great flea was okay and will probably win because it's unique kind of even though it didn't really do much with its animation or style didn't really do much in terms of creating a narrative out of its subject, or really even adding much depth to the actual material presented. Uh, Attica is probably the best out of this, most interesting and important subject matter. Um, I think that the 1970 film is much more important and much better made, so you should watch that one instead. Uh, but I think still out of these is definitely the best one but Flea will win. Okay, let's just go to the one everyone cares about. Uh, don't look up. I, just seeing that, just seeing that is so funny. Just seeing that image. I mean, it's like, what do you expect, really? Ah, man. It's weird that Licorice Pizza is also here. And, dri and Drive My Car. It's so weird that it's like as nominated as it is. I mean, it felt pretty, a little bit Oscar baity. Oscar, I hate that term. I don't know why I'm using it here, but um, just because I'm tired. I watched three boring Oscar nominations today, and I'm just, 
I mean, it, well, it's not just today, it was this whole week, it was just thing after thing and that I didn't want to watch and force myself to. And now I'm making a video out of it that's going to be really bad, and I've been recording 40 minutes. But yeah, I, I think Belfast has a really good shot. King Richard would be unsurprising. That's kind of like, that. going into this, that was kind of like my, my cynical answer. I was like, gonna just gonna throw everything at King Richard. But after doing the research, seeing the numbers, uh, talking to an expert field of movie critics, um, I'm going with West Side Story. And I think on Sunday, I'm going to just follow that through. All oh, clean sweep, power of the dog, uh, probably is a more realistic selection one which i am not at all upset by it was a very well made film that i did like but west side story is a, it won best picture last time so i don't see why it wouldn't again so yeah that was my really bad oscar video um but you know who's really gonna win all of the oscars Okay, that was a bit, that was not a good idea. That was dumb, that was dumb. That was a lot of duct tape.